today we woke up in the dark to come see the sunrise here in Byron Bay. This is Gabby, my friend. Hello. <laughs> we are squeezed in four people in the van. <laughs> the road is a bit bumpy. Okay, George didn't like my presentation, so we're gonna make a van tour. We are George and Diego. We quit our jobs to renew a tiny 50-year-old sailboat to live on the sea. Once we put ourselves out there, life made its turns and we moved to a more comfortable home, just to lose it a few months later to the biggest hurricane in history. We were already in love with boat life, and as stubborn sailors we are, we didn't give up. 20,000 nautical miles later, here we are in an unforgettable tree, following our dreams how far further from where we started. Subscribe and join our life at sea. It's time to move forward in our road trip through the east coast of Australia. And now we are in New South Wales. Our first stop, the famous Byron Bay. The place has a super cool vibe and it's a crazy mixture of the surf culture with a hippie style and a touch of modernity. Beautiful beaches and great surf spots make this place just perfect. Today we woke up in the dark to come see the sunrise here in Byron Bay, the lighthouse. Yeah, I woke up like um, 5 a.m. Yeah, and we just arrived on the right, right time. Right on time, yeah. Yeah, we actually missed the first, first minutes, but then we made it. Can you see anything? No, not really. I didn't put a coin. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the sunset in this lighthouse is one of the main attractions of Byron Bay and it's definitely worth it. And people just seem to don't feel cold here in Australia. I'm the only one <laughs> that I'm wearing lots of jackets and everybody's like in short sleeves, I think. Oh, oh, yeah, this, the street. Yeah, oh, we sorry, know. Sorry. Come, come. This is Gabby, my friend. <laughs> More than th three years. Yes. The last time that Hello, I saw Gabby. you. So happy that you are here, guys. Yes, to me too. Again. <laughs> It's been a while. We don't camp in a camping site with the van. We're just sleeping in friends and then sleeping on the street. And I kind of miss that. It's just weird. Just live on the van and yeah, keep sleeping you... on the street. And you don't have room like to open chairs and leave all the van open. Yeah, the, the, I think the highlight is when you can actually come to a good site like this and put your chairs and then just make a meal here. Yeah, yeah, it feels way better than deep on the street but sometimes it's nice to save money so i cannot complain yeah and been, also we stay on friends but was great really good we've been doing a good mix of yeah. everything but i kind of miss it the the camping me vibe too, me too. Yeah. nature birds through the van other, all other open campers. yeah so tonight we decided to sleep at this camping site in here in byron bay it's called belonging belong you the long gale. I can never say the name, I don't remember it actually. Yesterday we walk around town here in Byron and it's a really cool town. The beaches are beautiful, beautiful. Lots of cool people from every different style, shops, restaurants, cafes. I think it's really hype now. It's kind of the place to be now in Australia, I think. So yeah, we are having fun. I really enjoy here. What I heard, I figured that Byron Bay used to be more like a hippie town or something like that. And in the last year, it has been 
trending, so now it's kind of fancy. So lots of cafes and so yeah. makeup. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> come on, it's just my, and yeah, restaurants. But everything is pretty. Like, everything just like nice stores. It's a cool place. Squeezed in four people in the van. <laughs> Gabby, where are you? Huh? Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are going to this very beautiful beach. Well, that's what we were told. It's called White's Beach. Or what's it called? Oh. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> the road is a bit bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the name of the beach. I need to learn. We fun. don't know. I don't know the name either. Nobody knows it. Okay, guys, welcome to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, it's so beautiful. Today we're gonna explore this little beach that you don't know the name yet, but we are gonna figure out before this video go. Okay, let's go. You're a great, Come. you're a great vlogger, Gabby. You're a great Come with vlogger. Me. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to stop in White White's Beach, but there was no parking available, so we just keep driving, and we end up in this place that we don't know the name or anything, but it seems beautiful. Just a quick detour for a snack. What is Diego preparing there? Just a wrap. Mm. I'm hungry. So here we are, beautiful spot, and we just realized that we haven't uh, shown you uh, properly the, the van. So we're gonna make a van tour, beautiful light, beautiful day, beautiful scenery, and the host for this tour, the one that is the best in boats and vans and anything tour, Georgia Spiandorello. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay, Georgia didn't like my presentation, so we're gonna make a van tour. Yeah, we realized we haven't given you a tour yet, guys. So let me show you our little van. Diego is squeezed in the corner, so, in the corner, so he can film me here. But okay, yeah, this is the kitchen. Very important part of the van. We have the sink, we have a stove, and we have a microwave and a little fridge. So the sink is this one. It's a little small, but we can wash the dishes. That's fine. The tap is not the best one, I would say, because it's really good to save water, but it's not actually manual that you pump with your feet and neither you have something to open. It's just like a button that you click and it spells water everywhere. And also you need one hand to wash and one to keep clicking the button. So it's a bit hard, but we find our way through just like this. And then if I release the button, the water stops. So I, I had to learn to wash the dishes with one hand. Yeah, when we say it throws water everywhere, that's what we mean. <laughs> this van doesn't have a gray water tank, so everything that goes into the sink goes straight to the floor. And we have 20 liters capacity of water in the tank. So that's very short water, very little water. But we also learn to manage it and it's really easy to fill the tank everywhere. This is the stove. We have a stove here with two burners. Not much more to tell about the stove, right? This is, that's it, I think. Yeah, it's a stove. People know, people know. Yeah. Here's a microwave that we barely use because the van needs to be on the electricity, on the power. So we are, sometimes when we sleep in our camping ground that we can plug the van in the power, we use the microwave maybe just to warm I don't know, coffee or something. And we just found out we can make eggs on the microwave. So we've been trying to do it 
the last time we, we were on the camping site. It's nice because it doesn't make a lot of mess in the kitchen. We have some storage rooms here in the kitchen that, well, we've not lived in the van for too long, but we have a lot of room so far. Let me show you. Cabinet number one. Uh, something important to tell, this button is to unlock or lock the door so when we are driving it doesn't open by itself so when it's like this I cannot open the door But you so keep forgetting to close and... You do! <laughs> and then when you do like this you can open the door So here we have a lot of kitchen utensils like cutlery, knives, forks, all the stuff Underneath some plates Well we actually have two plates, two bowls two cups and two glasses that's all like uh, for two people and what's actually nice because we don't get stuck with a lot of things you know like uh, on the way and that we don't use so I found it really practical maybe I'll just do some cleanup in the boat when we get back and here we keep some food some snacks some chocolate yeah this is that's the nice spot then we have another cabinet in here it's a bit messy, but we keep pans. We have three pans here on the van. One kettle, some bowls, and that's more than enough. Some cleaning products underneath. And actually there's a lot more of storage there, but we are not using it. Here we have another cabinet. We keep most of our food, dry things. And in the van, we don't need to keep so much food like we do on the boat because it's very easy to get to a supermarket or to a store. We find something everywhere. So we just go shopping more often for food than when we are in the boat. So that's pretty much all the food we keep here. Well, our stocks are going low, but <laughs> yeah, not much more than that usually. And also, of course, we cannot miss the fridge. It's really hard to live without the fridge. And then we have this mini frigo. So, uh, not much food either. We really need to get to the supermarket today. But yeah, we have this small frigo bar where we can keep all our cold stuff. And it also has a locker here. So when we drive, the door doesn't open by itself and things start to fall. The fridge runs in a 12 volt battery and we can charge the battery either driving the car or on the power so if we stay too long without connecting the van to power or driving like if we stay parked for two days probably our battery will, will, won't like keep the the fridge actually right now it doesn't keep for much more than some hours but anyway so we need i really miss having solar panels on this van but of course this is just a rental van if it was ours we would for sure install like solar electricity and then would run everything on the solar since we are talking about electricity the system here is very simple we just have the fridge that runs in the battery and when we are connected to uh, I, I like to say sharp power this is a, a habit from the boat but when we are connected to electricity we can use the microwave as I already told you and we can use the sockets that uh, we just can plug anything here but one, when we are not plugged on the electricity they just doesn't work so it's really hard to charge our things we have to charge our phones on the USB when we are driving so cameras, computers and all the other stuff not possible this is our living room slash bed slash room <laughs> yeah so that's pretty much where we stay when we are inside the van this table was very useful to make the videos so I could work here, we can have food here and we can move it around, what's cool too, we can take it off. So when we want more room around here, we just remove the table. To sleep also, the table becomes part of the bed, I'm gonna show in a minute. And yeah, that's our big living space. It's really useful to have a table, but to be honest, most of the time we just don't keep it like here in this position because it uses a lot of space in the room. So usually the table is out, but it's really nice to have a table when you want to use it. And as you can see, we try to make a little decoration here in, a, in the van. As the van is not ours, we didn't want to spend money and just buy things that may go to the trash later. So we just use things we had just to make it a bit more cozy because as you can see 
the furniture, the cushions, everything is blue. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, what like a. So if if it was my van, I would probably do in a different way. I would use more wood and make clear colors. Also the roof, I would make like clear too. But anyway, it's nice, it's cool. But we just wanted to make a little more personal. So we put some tissues here, some flags. These are the shells we bring from French Polynesia. We got when we were left in there. To transform the table in our bed, what we do? We remove the table from here. Yeah. This is spot here, where this metal tube goes into. That's the feet of the table, the, that holds the table. Just comes out like this. And then we usually put this on somewhere else. And here we have this wood plank that will go here between the two sofas. There we go. So, yeah. Here we have a full bed. The cushions that go here to lay down our back just become the cushion. So, that's how we make it. And this is our bed that I have to make every night. Well, not actually every night because some, because some days we just live like this but it uses a lot of room in the van, so I usually make it every night. I don't really mind, I, it takes me like one or two minutes to do it, but I know that some people don't like to do the bed. Anyway, it's pretty comfortable because a lot of people ask, oh, it's uncomfortable to live on the van, is it too tight? Uh, not, no, it's actually very comfortable. It's a double bed, so Diego and I can sleep very comfortably here. And some days we wake up with beautiful scenarios like this, some days we wake up with McDonald's sign on the side or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, pretty comfortable. We had nice sleeps in here and we can close all the curtains so it gets very cozy and private in here. And I think you have already noticed the vine's pretty blue and I didn't know that when I bought the linen and the, this so yeah we live in a blue bubble <laughs> here underneath the sofas we have more storage guys let me show you quick on this side you can put this up you have we have a 12 volt battery that runs the fridge we have a battery charger and a fresh water pump so this stay here and still more room to put something else we want there's some more storage as you can see, we didn't use most of the most of the storage, but if I leave full time in the van, probably it would be full of things right now. So, do do you have any idea how many people can fit in this living room? We haven't had more than three people at the same time here. But I think uh, easily yeah. twelve. <laughs> Let me show you guys the last pieces of storage in this van. Right here behind me, there is where we keep our clothes. Yeah, we had a place, we had to have a place for our clothes. Diego's, mine, and here is actually a third bed. If anybody wants to sleep in here, it just slides here to the front. There's two cushions, but I wouldn't suggest for an adult to sleep here. I don't know what can happen, we haven't tried. And then on the other side here, we keep more stuff like our Backpacks, computers, cameras, some hygiene materials. So here is easy because we keep our toothbrush, for example, then we just grab it from here and we are right in the sink to brush our teeth. So here in this top, this extra top that I don't know how to call it, there is two windows, one each side, one here and the other one here. There is a mosquito net, what's very useful so we can just keep the window open like this so when we sleep we keep it open and we keep the mosquitoes away same thing for the other side sorry 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 to interrupt the tour kangaroos outside really yeah oh let's see it But 
I promise that's what's gonna happen. And if your family, Australian family can get excited about it. Okay, back from the kangaroo break. <laughs> yeah, that's Australia, guys. So I was showing the windows and we also have a, a little window here right next to our head when we sleep or when we are here in the living room. So we can open this and we have some fresh breeze coming in. We just keep it open if we're uh, in a camping site when we sleep on the street or yeah, we just keep it closed for safety. As you could see in this tour, guys, this camper doesn't have a shower and a toilet. Well, I don't know where we could fit it in here because it's quite small. So yeah, I think it would be useful to have a sh at least a toilet, but I don't know how much either. Here in Australia, it's really easy to find public toilets and showers by the beach everywhere. So it's not really a big deal. Well, the water is usually cold, so in winter I'm not sure about the showers, but you can find some uh, public pools or other places that you can maybe pay to have a shower, a hot shower. So it's it hasn't been really bad for us. Maybe in more remote places it would make more difference. Also, all the campsites have showers and toilets, so if you are staying on a camping, you're very comfortable. This van is a Toyota High Ace. 2010 as we speak is reaching 370,000 kilometers so has been around Australia once or twice it's a uh, it's very different from a normal car because you like uh, are higher than than a normal and but it's okay this one is manual so this gave me it still does give me a bit of headache sometimes because the the gears simply won't work right but yeah we've been we were getting along it's a bit wobbly, you know, because it's so high. So when the wind hits, you can feel just like throwing the van all over the place. So play safe. It's uh, it has been a learning curve to maneuver and get into tight spots and just like uh, going backwards to somewhere. Georgia think it's nice to take pictures, but it's a it's a good car. I'm super happy. It runs on petrol, gasoline. It does seven kilometers per liter so it likes to drink a bit we have this middle seat oh, which we're not to use we can lower down and it's a nice little table we drop our stuff here keep phones charging maps tools whatever we have in our hands or coffee this is always here very handy i like this and yeah apart from that normal car uh it's not great to to stay chilling because i cannot lower the bank because of all this furniture but I like it. At this point you're probably wondering how come they have so much storage space? Well, actually here is where the things got messy. This is the trunk and we literally throw all our stuff in here. So yeah, all our clothes are here. We just keep some like uh, some sets of clothes inside and like uh, all the bulk thing is here. Chairs, extra water, uh, shoes, what else? I don't know, the random stuff we collecting around along the way. So yeah, that's quite a few things here. It's not huge, but it keeps us going. It's pretty good. It's good, it's good. It's like this and this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the utility side of the van. Here we have the connection for the power. Here where we fill the water tank. And this is very old thought. It's where the gas bottle goes. It's actually a very, really, very nice locker and fits a, a decently sized bottle. So we can run for maybe a month with this bottle. You know what I wonder? If anybody that have watched our videos have ever called to this number that's in the front and in the back of the van. <laughs> Do you think anybody has ever called? We didn't. No, yeah, I, I don't know. I just think it's funny. <laughs> every photo every footage it's always showing that 1-800 yeah. whatever yeah maybe before we leave australia we'll give it a call but uh, <laughs> uh a nice thing about this van and the adaptations that it has to be a uh, like a tiny oh home God. the sun in my eyes sorry it's kind of this mushroom that goes on top so that's extend the vents higher and so it allows to be fully extended inside 
and also create some storage space and if you had another third person the third person could actually sleep on a tiny little bed so that's the tour of our camper van guys i hope you enjoyed it i i think it's pretty comfortable for a trip as we are doing like for a month i thought it would be harder and i thought it would be more uncomfortable and actually i've been sleeping good and yeah the driving is good the bed is nice the kitchen is yeah we can cook most of the stuff we i'm, I'm sure you like said to. about it but australia it's a great place to do this kind of stuff they've had a lot yeah. of facilities and yeah, that's places true. you can use tables and barbecues and showers yeah. and toilets yeah maybe like if we lived full time in a van if this was our van i would think about a toilet maybe but then it it probably would would yeah a portable toilet but maybe we would, would need a bigger van i'm not sure it could fit in this van solar I power i would put a yeah, one or two definitely, solar definitely. two panels here keep the fridge running all the time australia is a very sunny place at least this part we drive and yeah that will be the main thing and uh well to be this is a, a rental van and actually it's a very interesting setup yeah. i think what the guys deliver it's enough for the average traveler okay guys the battery of the camera just went off i had to switch oh it time. and change the camera so I think that's it. It's a pretty nice setup for this van. We are very happy with that and we have many kilometers more to do today so we're gonna hit the road again. As we were discussing, one of the problems of the van that, uh, of not having a toilet in the van is that we had to cut these images right now because we need to go to the toilet. We've been holding for a long time so we just have to drive to find a public toilet now. And that's the end of our van tour. Come on Australia, don't let me down. There's always a toilet. Oh yeah, surf clubs, surf clubs. There's always toilet around the surf club. You see, not so hard to find one. Wow, well, not hard, not Just yet, huh? Five minutes away. Yeah. That's. I can see. I can see a little house there, maybe. Yeah. It's promising.